test time. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. How many come in to rejoice? Can y'all clap your hands and give God some praise? Amen. Come on, stand to your feet. Come on, stand to your feet. We're going to sing an old song. Fairview and Tabitha, I need y'all to help me because I can't sing. After 19 years, the only thing you can say, how did we make it? He made it by faith. Amen. Here we go. We come, sing. We've come. Yeah. Leaning on the law. Trust. He's never failed. Y'all can smile a little bit and say, oh. Can't turn around. We've come. We've come. Leading on. Trust. Do that all one more time like you mean it. Oh. Amen. Amen. God bless you. As our scripture and prayer come forward, is there a representative from the Greater Trinity Church here? Amen. If not, we're going to ask the St. John Choir to come on up to the choir stand as they come. Amen. Amen. Don't shout too loud because y'all first. I'm glad. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let's wait for them to get on up and then we'll move. Oh, can't turn around. We've come. Yeah. Leaning on, on trusting, trust he never failed. Our scripture will be by Sister Jackie Vickers, and our prayer will be by Sister Carmen Howard. Amen. Good evening, saints. I am going to do the scripture, and I am reading from Psalms 37, verses 23 through 26. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. And I have been young, and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and lendeth, and, he, and his seed is blessed. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearers, doers of his holy word. Should we bow our heads? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day to praise and worship you. We thank you for our pastor, E. Jennings Tyson, and our first daughter, Reverend Vivian Janelle Tyson. This is a time that we fellowship with other churches tonight to honor our pastor and for his service to us and you. Bless the preaching, the songs, and the fellowship that we have forward coming. Thank you and amen. 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 You can be seated. I know you've stood already, but we're going to get ready for the entrance of our pastor. 
I want y'all to help me sing. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. Amen. Look at them stand anyway. For my Lord, and I promise that I would serve you. I am all. I was alone, and I was, and I was the sinner, and I heard. And I took my and I joined. Tonight. Now when I met my Savior, now when I met my Savior, and I met him, he healed and told around. He and I'm Come on, let's give Pastor Tyson one more hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. We'll now have a welcome. We're going to switch just a little. We'll have a welcome by Brother Kelvin Stevens. We'll have a selection by the St. John Missionary Baptist Church. We'll have our tribute. Um, and then we'll have a selection by the Tabitha Baptist Church. Amen. 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 All right. Give an honor to God. Pastor Tyson. Pastor Reed, Reverend Janelle, I just want to welcome all of y'all to New Hope Baptist Church. We hope you felt welcome when you walked in the building. Uh, once again, it is a privilege and an honor to be able to welcome you. And we are the church that cherishes. We are having a time. That's right. Once again, welcome.
am holding on till the end. I will be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in you. Lord, Yeah. Yeah. 
Come on, that's so St. John's of love there. Come on, setting us right, right? Amen. I told Dr. Spock, and I said, go back to that. Yes, son, stay. I said, don't do that. <laughs> amen, amen. Let's receive Sister Tammy with our tribute. Amen. 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 Tyson, Reverend Reed, all the other pastors in the pulpit, and those that are residing in front of me. I stand today, my name is Tammy Bagsby, and I stand before you to give you a tribute about my pastor. He's not only my pastor, he's all of our pastor. As the song says, I'm standing, standing in your will. <laughs> I promised I was just going to get up here and say what I had to say, but y'all did it. You know, that's one thing I can say about Pastor Tyson. He's a man of God. He's always watching over the flock. He makes sure everything is cordial. I've never seen an angry side, but something tells me that deep down inside, every once in a while he'll say, don't catch me, don't catch me. But in all of that, he's being friendly when he says that. Our pastor, we never know what we're going to get on a Sunday. When he's singing, I'm on the battlefield, you can rest for sure. We're going to either get Tiger Woods at the end, or we're going to get Kevin Durant with his special three-pointer. Pastor, I tell you, you not only a pastor, you're a father, as they say, you're a father to the fatherless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You out there, not only behind these sacred walls, you're out there, Walmart, yeah. elevators at the doctor's office, anywhere, he's going, whoever he see, how you doing, how things going, do you know the Lord? He's going to find a way to win a soul. And like he tell us, it, if it's just one, if it just, it just takes one, one brings more. So the way I see our pastor is, um, P is for he's powerful. A, he's ambitious. S, He's supportive. T, he's a teacher. O, he's overjoyed. R, he's resourceful. T, he's thoughtful. Why? I just couldn't come up with nothing but why. <laughs> so I said, you. Yeah. S, he is strong. Oh, he's an overcomer. Yeah. He overcame his heart attack. He overcame his prostate. Yeah. But most of all, he's in. He's non-stoppable. Yeah. Our pastor, it doesn't matter. If he has to get up at 2 a.m., if you say you broke your toe, he will be there at that hospital he gonna pray if they trying to wheel you back. He gonna say, wait. I want to make sure they go in there and come back out on all their limbs. The way I sent them in there. That's our pastor. Pastor is a fun pastor. 
he, he, he uh, all jokes aside, he loves the youth. The youth has always been his, been his fortress. Um, his daughter, I know she feels bad sometimes because she has to share him with the world. But that's part of being a PK kid. I'm not a PK kid, but I've seen other PK kids. And with you being the only child, he being the only child, it's like not father, daughter, it's sister, brother. <laughs> they might not see eye to eye sometimes, but when we get grown, we know how we are. But one thing about it, nobody will ever be able to say anything about her. I never met Pastor Tyson's mother, nor his father. But he always said his mother told him to stay with the Lord, stay with the church, and do all you can for the baby. Well, Miss Nelly, he has conquered that and more. He is now the president of the Oklahoma Baptist Convention Progressive. He's a pastor of many hats. He's just a round the way guy. New Hope um, pastor, uh, I had a, uh, a presentation to give you. Not saying that you won't get it, it's in route. But the devil put a mm in there, but we're going to visualize it, and then I will take my seat. As I was saying, I labor Pastor Tyson as Tiger Woods, Durant. I can't, we can't give you a PG green jacket. We can't give you an NBA ring. But one thing we can give you is I had you a Bomber Douglas Trojan jacket made of your alma mater that has your name, your mascot, and it also has the year you graduated in 1979 as if you were still in high school. And it also have a basketball on there because you said you scored the winning three-pointer. <laughs> if there was a way that I had a picture that I could put a afro on there because none of us saw the afro, but you said you had the bombest afro in the league. So, Pastor Tyson, we love you, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. New Hope, we have the best, now wait a minute before I say that. I don't want any of you pastors to get offended about what I'm about to say because this is on our side. This is our home. He's our pastor. He's the best pastor on this side of heaven. Pop Reed. Wonderful. wonderful, he's marvelous, marvelous. Almighty, God. almighty God, miraculous, miraculous. 
When I need him, I can call him. And his name is, hey, he's wonderful, he's marvelous, he is a mighty God and miraculous. Oh, when I need him, I can surely call him. His name is Jesus. Oh, he's a burden bearer, a heavy load sharer, my heart fixer, and my mind regulator. Hey, my provider, my strong tower. He's my deliverer, and Jesus is. Surely call him, and his name is Jesus. He's a burden bearer. He's my heavy load sharer, my heart fixer, and my mind regulator. And my provider, my strong tower. He's my deliverer, and Jesus is. I can surely call him, and his name is Jesus. Oh, help us call Jesus. Somebody ought to help us say Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Call him Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Hey, hey, Jesus, call him Jesus, my lily of the valley, Jesus, my bright and morning star, Jesus, 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 call him Jesus, hey, hey, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, call him demons, tremble. At the name Jesus, the atmosphere changes. At the name Jesus, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Call him. There's power in the name of Jesus. Oh, power in the name of Jesus. Call him Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Hey, hey, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Call him Jesus. 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 Call his name Jesus. Call his name Jesus. Somebody call on Jesus. Oh, when I need him, I can surely call him. Oh, whenever, whenever, I can surely call him. Hey, whenever I can call, I know I can call on Jesus. Hey, hey. Jesus. Tyson and daughter and to Pastor Reed and also
also uh, to all who care, Pastor Derek and all who are here today. We greet you in the wonderful name of the one they just got through singing about. He says you can call him at any time and uh, he is sure to be there. We've come to the point of sharing and giving at our church, when we say that, we say amen. amen. We say because we are, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And so we want to respond. So we giving time now. Amen. amen. And we have the opportunity to give unto this great leader, my friend and brother, uh, for many years. And one of my dearest friends. Uh, Pastor Tyson. We have the opportunity to give. We're going to ask for representatives uh, from each church to come and to represent your particular church. And if there's not a representative from your church, uh, Brother Melvin is going to stand for the tab of the church. Then just give to the first one you see. Amen. Let's bow and have a word of prayer. Uh, before we give and ask the Lord's blessings upon Father, we only give you but what is yours. We pray that it would be a blessing unto this servant that you've placed here these 19 years. Bless him, Lord, and with every good and perfect gift. Bless his family, Lord, and strengthen him, and we ask these things as we prepare to give. Lord, help us to give to the level that you would be satisfied. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All of Fairview is to see Brother Tobler. All of the Fairview Church, you see Brother Tobler. Who, who are watching by, by a computer, there's online giving ab availability. You can do that through Givelify. You can cash app. There's a cash app that you can check with someone to, I can't see that, so, but there is a cash app available if you want to give through uh, electronically. We certainly want you to do that. Whatever way you want to give, uh, it's available for you to do. Amen.
Brother Shelton, will you give us our prayer? It's preaching time. I have the privilege and honor, as always, to either introduce or present uh, our preacher for uh, tonight. Uh, he really needs no introduction because anybody or everybody in this room uh, knows who he is. Uh, I say that because in some way, Everybody in this room, if not everybody, most of us in this room, have been impacted uh, and touched by his preaching, his teaching, his pastoral ministry, and his servanthood. And so I just simply want to present tonight the proud pastor, senior pastor, of the Fairview Missionary Baptist Church in the person of Dr. John A. Reed, Jr. After our choir has sung as many numbers as he so desires, the next voice that you will hear will be that of the preacher of the hour, Dr. John A. Reed, Jr. Hear ye him.
Come on, anybody love the Lord tonight? I worship. I worship and adore. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Oh, I love you. I love you, Jesus. Give him some praise. That's why my heart is filled with praise. That's why my heart is filled with praise, with praise, with praise. That's why. With praise, <laughs> that's why my heart is filled with praise. bless you tonight. Grace and peace be to all of you. From God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You may be seated. To our worship leader tonight, Reverend Brother Chris, and to all of the pastors, Pastor Mitchell and all of the pastors who are programmed here tonight, all of our churches who are here, uh, we greet all of you tonight in the wonderful, powerful, glorious, magnificent name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Uh, it is good to be here. And I often state that when you start getting my age, 
It's just good to be anywhere. And, and I, you wake up in the morning and you thank the Lord for another day. Amen. Amen. And so I'm thrilled to death uh, to have the privilege and the opportunity to come over to New Hope tonight and share with one of my dear sons in the ministry uh, in, in the person Reverend Brother Tyson E. Jennings Tyson and his beautiful daughter Janelle Reverend Janelle Amen and, and the New Hope Baptist Church family and uh, most certainly I'm happy to be here uh, and I've had the privilege of sharing with this church for 60 odd years and uh, I'm thankful uh, to Pastor Tyson for giving his pop an opportunity once again to, to come and share these precious moments uh, with you as you celebrate your 19th pastoral anniversary here with the New Hope Baptist Church. And of course, I have known you much longer than 19 years. I've known you all your life. And that makes it a greater privilege to, to know how you've grown and how you've developed in the gospel ministry and how the Lord is, is using you in a mighty and glorious way here in our city and across our state and across our nation. And uh, I thank God, uh, I thank God for you. And of course, uh, you know, I've, like it's been around a while, I was, listening tonight at, at Mastro uh, from St. John Baptist Church. And Terry Spagna, I was, I was listening to him tonight and how proud I am uh, of Terry. I still call him a young man. <laughs> I remember, remember, remember when he started. And to see him tonight, the way he was, you know, he's all over all these years. And, and uh, that's, that's how much the Lord has blessed me to still be around. And amen. I'm grateful. Uh, see, all of these have I known all of their lives, of their commitment and their dedication to the Lord's work, the Lord's service here in our city. And I'm, I'm thankful. Amen. All the Fairview members who are here tonight, stand so I can see you all. I don't know where you all are. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see how many showed up here tonight. And, uh, thank God for, for all of you. And we are here, as usually we have Bible study on Wednesday night at the 7 o'clock hour. So that's why I wanted you to stand up. You know, as a pastor been around for some while, and I remember when, and uh, not only Fairview, but other churches as well don't attend Bible study on Wednesday night like they once did. You all can say amen. Yeah, you can say amen, but grateful for all of you for coming and sharing. I'm not gonna be but a few minutes. Uh, I uh, I want to share with you uh, from the 103rd Psalms. The 103rd Psalms. And, 
I'm only going to read the first five verses, and then you all read the rest when you get home. And uh, on, the reason I'm only reading five verses is because no way in the world I can preach all of this tonight. <laughs> Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. All that is in within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with love and kindness, and tender mercies, who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Let's just praise the Lord. Uh, let's just praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Let's just spend a few minutes tonight praising the Lord. Uh, there are so many Christians find it difficult to, to really think about the privilege of prayer uh, without doing so in terms of asking for, for something or complaining to God about some life situation. Of course, uh, petitionary praying is a part of our communication with God. We are, we are exalted in number of places in Scripture to, to bring our needs to God in prayer. In, in fact, James over in the fourth chapter of James says that, that ye have not because ye ask not. And, and at the same time, however, let me remind you that the word of God also tells us to praise the Lord. It, it tells us to express gratitude. Uh, and it says, it tells us that more often than it tells us to ask God for anything. And my brothers and sisters, when we when we express praise and when we express thanksgiving to God, when, when we cultivate the habit of praising God, what we do, we enlarge our capacity to appreciate the greatness and the glory of God. And, and we, we diminish our own self-centeredness. And really, in short terms, we, we grow up spiritually. Uh, am I right? We, we, we learn how to, to count our blessings. And you remember the old hymn writer says, count your blessings, name them one by one. And and, 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 and it will surprise you uh, what the Lord has, has done. Uh, David's, this is a psalm of David, and, and uh, Psalm 103 is a, is a pure song of, of praise with not one single Petition in it, uh, and, and 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 in other words, the the, the 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 psalmist is not asking for anything. This this is a psalm of of praise, and 
And there is a progression in the design of the song. Uh, first, David addresses himself, uh, driving home the need for blessing the Lord, uh, appraising God. And, and, and then he turns to the people, his people, Israel. He, he, he expresses uh, amazement that, that, that God would ever consider these creatures of clay. And, and, and finally, he builds to a crescendo of praise as he addresses the entire universe uh, and, and calling on everyone. And, and everything uh, to give praise to God. Well, uh, David's praise here really focus on gl God's glorious deeds. You know, it, it, it's easy to spend time complaining about life. And, 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 and these are complaining times in this 21st century. Most folk you meet are complaining about something. Uh, some folk you hate to see them coming. Uh, because things are never right uh, with him. Never right in their lives, and they are continually complaining. But if you notice here that uh, David, uh, y'all, he was not a complainer. Uh, David's list here in this 103rd Psalm uh, give us plenty for which to praise God for. Look what David says. You praise him. He he forgives our sin. He heals our diseases. He redeemed us from death. Crowned us with love. And crowned us with compassion. Satisfies our desires. Gives us righteousness and justice. And he, and he said we receive all of these without deserving any of them. Yeah, no, no matter, no matter, no matter how difficult your life's journey, you, you can always count your blessings. It makes no difference about what's going on and what's transpiring in your everyday living. You can always give God thanks. You can thank him for the past. You can thank him for the present. And you sure enough can thank him for the future. Uh, and, and whenever... You feel though you have nothing for which to prove to praise God for. Read David's list here. Yeah, yeah, David here. Uh, his, in these first five verses, first thing he had gives is, is an exaltation to oneself. David here begins uh, his psalm by talking. To himself. Yeah, yeah. David is talking to himself and in, in, in examining his own life. He, he has discovered a need for genuine introspection, which, which, which he sincerely examines himself. He, he realized that praise and thanksgiving is missing from his own heart. And, and so he he addresses himself. Listen, listen, listen to David. You know, it's good to talk to yourself sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Self, self talking to self. Self communicating with self. Self, self, self dealing with self. Self, self taking a look at self. Self analyzing self. Self-examining self. It's a good time spending some time talking with self. Do I have a witness here? 
And, and so David here is addressing himself. L listen to David talking to himself. That's David is talking to himself when he says, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. He, he's talking to himself when he says, and all that is within me. He's talking with himself when he says, bless his holy name. The soul is, y'all know that the soul is the total personality that, that uniquely uh, makes us what we really are. Y'all know that, don't you? It, it, it's the whole person. It, 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 it's, it's, it's who you are. In other words, God breathed into the body which he had formed from the dirt, which, which was just a form. That's all it was, it, a, a, a physical anatomy. But he, but he put his breath uh, in that form. Am I right? And when he put his breath in that form, that his, it immediately became a living soul. And, 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 and that's that little part of God. That, that's what soul means, that, 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 that little part of God. That, that's, that's who I am. Am I right? That, that little part of God made y'all in the image of God. And, and, and David here talking to himself, uh, me talking to me, realizing that I did not originate from me. Uh, y'all going to help me here tonight? I, 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 I didn't just happen up. Uh, I didn't just happen to be. I... I had a source. I, I didn't just begin to be. That there was a divine power that, that brought me into existence. A power beyond my imagination. David says, when I think about it, I can't help but give some praise to the power of God that have made me who I am. That have brought me into being. I am who I am, not because of me. Come on and talk to me. Some of us, the way we act in life, it seems like we made ourselves. But I want to come by to tell you tonight, you are who you are because God, do I have a God put himself into you. God breathed into you the breath of life in you. You became a living soul. And David said because of that, I can't help it. I, I, I have the can't help it. So I, 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 I can't help but give God some praise. Oh, praise the Lord. Somebody ought to say praise the Lord. I, I can't help but praise him, first of all, because who I am. Because of who I am. But, 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 but David uh, doesn't stop there. He, 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 he adds all that is within me. All that is within me. He's saying everything inside of me, everything that makes up my soul need to praise the Lord. He's saying everything, all of me, all that I am, need to spend some time praising the Lord. You all, we've come to the point in this 21st century where we don't spend no time praising God. We, am I right? We, we spend a little time, just a little time, worshiping together. And most of us who are members of church don't do that. Do I have, we, since the pandemic, we ain't got back yet. I'm, I'm still looking for some members of Fairview. We, we don't spend no time praising him, but God has been good. As a matter of fact, he brought us through the pandemic. I, I haven't had no COVID yet. You know I'm praising him. Oh, yeah, but now let me move on here. But. <laughs> In verse 2, David. In verse 2, David reminds himself to forget not all his benefits. Y'all see that, don't you? You see that while he was praising God from the innermost recesses of his being? He, he was not too 
overlook the specifics of God's unmerited grace and God's unmerited mercy. David knew that he could not remember all of God's blessings. On the other hand, he must not, he must not forget all of God's blessings. In other words, he was not to take for granted God's expression of goodness and blessing to him. Oh, God, today, ah, don't take for granted how the God is blessing you. Don't you understand and know that you are being blessed? Individually, you are being blessed. Don't take it for granted. God's expression of goodness. But when, then when, beginning here with verse 3, the psalmist started to list some of God's blessings. Uh, the first reason for praise is forgiveness. I can state it all night. The first, I said the first reason for praise is, 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 is forgiveness. You, you know, forgiveness is moral cleansing. What, what, one thing that I, that I do know, if I don't know anything else, one thing I do know, as a child of God, I've been forgiven. You, you, you all going to help me preach these first minutes. I said, as a child of God, I, 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 I've been forgiven. That, 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 is where, that is where God's activity on behalf of sinful people always began. God is a forgiving God. And without this basis, there can be no relationship at all. God, y'all, forgives. And I want to remind all of you tonight that forgiveness is the greatest of all gifts that we can receive from God. Let me say it again. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is the greatest gift that we can receive from God and the first we need to have. Because I found out that the forgiveness of our sins is the greatest benefit that any of us can ever receive from God. And you know what? We receive it only because God gave his son. Oh, oh y'all come on to heaven here. He gave his son over to death. I fell on Calvary's cross. Listen, you, you know you have sinned. You, you know you have sinned. You know you have sinned. You know you have come short of the glory of God. You know you have done wrong. You know you have gone astray. Don't nobody have to tell you. Don't look at nobody else. Look at yourself. You are a sinner. You are a sinner. Saved by grace. Thank God for his grace. Grace went to Calvary. Grace shed in his blood. Grace died on Calvary. Early Sunday morning, it was grace that got up out of that grave, declaring all power. Oh, priest, pastor, read. It's in my hand. Don't be around here acting like you're not no sinner. Am I right? You better thank God for his forgiveness. You, you better thank God for his healness. All of us are sinners. You can't be pointing yourself at nobody. You can't point a finger at nobody in here. Take a look at yourself. You are a sinner. And thank God that he has forgiven you. Healing. 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 
David is saying that when we are healed, as we often are, it, it, it is God who has done the healing. That's right. That's right. God is the healer of our bodies as well as our soul. That's right. That's right. If you are in good health, it's a sure gift from God. Oh, y'all didn't hear me. If you're in good health tonight, it's surely a gift from God. God should be praised for it. You ought to give God thanks every morning, all day long, late at night. If you are healthy, give him some thanks tonight. If you are healthy, give him some praise in here tonight. Give him some praise. Uh, but then, give me about 10 more minutes. But then, beginning here with verse 3. Yeah. If you notice here, the psalmist start to list in some of God's blessings. Listen, the first reason for praise, I said, is forgiveness. Am I right? Second, David thinks of the blessing of his health. The words holy and healthy come from the same roots. Right. It, it, it would be just as correct to speak of a holy body yeah. and a healthy spirit. Right. Disease is failure. Yeah. Whether it be spiritual, whether it be mental, or whether it be physical, God is the healer. Yeah. Yeah. And, and says that, like David, I, I praise him for what? Being a healer, he, 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 he supplies us with his grace through every trial, through every sickness, through every discouragement, through every adversity, through every crisis, through every disappointment, through every temptation, through every sorrow, through every hardship, through every problem, through every difficulty, through every situation, God is there. God's grace is sufficient in all situations. God's grace is sufficient in all circumstances. God is always there, and he's there when we need him most. There's not a time when you're without God. There's no time when God does not show up, and he always is on time. He's never late. Do I have a witness here? God's unmerited favor. I cannot earn it. Can't be good enough to receive it. It's a gift that comes directly from God. He keeps on giving in spite of us. His grace is sufficient. And so David continues his message of blessing for which he must praise God with the declaration who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Verse 4, redeemeth as it were, as it used, here means preserver. David praises God for the sustaining yes. and the preserving life that's his. Yes. And then he adds, who crowns thee with love and kindness and tender mercies. Yes. Mercies are God's act of benevolence yes. towards us. Where am I right? Yes. Whereas grace is a general attitude of love towards us. Yes. The psalmist uh, brings his opening message to a close. In that fifth verse, he he has an all-inclusive yes, statement. Yes, he says, who satisfies yes. thy mouth with good things, yes. and so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle. You see, my brothers and my sisters, we are needed creatures. Yes. We're always in need right. of something. God made us. To be dependent. Am I right? Always in need. We are always running out of something. Am I right? We never have all that we need. God's wisdom, God's loving kindness, keep on supplying our needs with good things. He gives us fresh strength, uh, not once a week, but he gives us fresh strength every day. He renews my spirit every day. That's why 
I keep on praising him. He keeps on supplying when there seems to be no supply. He can, he can take nothing and make something out of it. He can take that which is unholy and make it holy. He can take that which is unclean and make it clean. He can take that which is good and make it better. He'll see that you have everything that you need. Uh, he didn't promise us everything, but he did promise us enough. Oh, y'all didn't hear me? And I don't know how you feel about it. I know I don't have, I don't have everything, but I can make it with just enough. That's all I need is just enough. Enough bread today. Enough water today. Enough strength today. Enough goodness today. Enough kindness today. Enough love today. Enough forgiveness today. All I need is just a, a little bit. Praise his holy name. I'm going to back out of here, but I, when I look at New Hope, and when I look at Pastor Tyson, yeah, the Lord has been mighty good to you all. Just a few couple years ago, Tyson was struck with illness. Do I have a witness here? Not knowing whether he would even see this day. Uh, y'all don't hear me, but God... <laughs> It's such a good God. Do I have a witness here? You look at Tyson right now. It don't look like he's had just not one sick day. It because uh, of God's goodness and God's healing power. Do I have a witness here? The God you serve brought you through, son. Do I have a witness here? Am I right? Uh, in the hospitals, uh, do I have a witness here? Uh, but he was right there. Do I have a witness here? Uh, everywhere you moved, uh, God was right there. Uh, and, uh, oh Lord, and, uh, ain't he a good God? Uh, do I have a witness here? Oh Lord, <laughs> look at New Hope today. <laughs> One year ago, <laughs> Oh, y'all don't hear me. Uh, in this service, uh, we was in the old building. Uh, do I have a witness here? Uh, but look where we are tonight. Uh, look where God uh, has brought you uh, from 7th Street uh, to Midwest Boulevard. Uh, do I have a witness here? Uh, you never thought uh, that you would be here. Uh, do I have a witness here? Uh, I came out here uh, and walked the ground with you. Uh, do I have a witness here? Uh, we walked on uh, over this ground, uh, praising the Lord. Uh, oh, y'all help me here. Thanking God uh, for what the Lord uh, has done. Uh, do I have a witness here? You ought to give God some praise. I'm closing now, but we ought to spend some time here tonight praising the Lord. You ought to be on your feet thanking God for what he's done for you. Do I have a witness here? If the Lord has done anything for you, you ought to be on your feet telling the Lord thank you. Let's spend some time right now praising the Lord. Bless the Lord, uh, oh my soul, uh, and all that's within me. Uh, bless his holy name. Uh, praise him uh, from which all blessings flow. Uh, praise him, uh, all creatures be below. Uh, I will praise thee, O oh Lord, uh, with my whole heart. Uh, great is the Lord, uh, greatly to be praised. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, praise him. Praise him, uh, Jesus, uh, blessed Savior. Uh, he's worthy to be praised. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
praise him. You ought to praise him. Ain't God all right? Ain't God all right? Let's give God some praise. Let's stand on our feet. Come on, stand on your feet. Let's give God some praise. Let's thank him. Come on, let's dance for the Lord. He's been mighty good. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? Won't he bless you? Won't he strengthen you? Won't he pick you up? Won't he turn you around? Won't he place your feet on solid ground? Ain't he good? Ain't he good? Yeah! 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 Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Oh, On right there, why don't you give God praise right there, right where you're at right now? Come on, if he's been good to you, go ahead and give him the praise right there, right now. Don't be shy, don't be shy, give him the praise right there, right now. Why don't you keep standing on your feet? Why don't you keep standing on your feet? The gospel message has been preached. The gospel message has been preached. Now it is time for a response. The invitation has now been extended. Let's just praise the Lord. I don't know who you are in this building tonight, but if you are that somebody who does not know this man named Jesus, who we give the honor, the praise, and the glory to, and you are ready to take that leap of faith and give your life over to him, we invite you to come down tonight. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, 
as you believe in your heart that God raised them from the dead, that you shall be saved. If you believe that on tonight, why don't you come down? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody else. Doors are open. not before, but it happens after, after prayer. So God, here we are tonight, simply to say thank you. Lord, we thank you for just being who you are, and that is God and God alone. God, we thank you tonight for your grace and mercy toward all of us. We thank you tonight for being a forgiving God. We thank you tonight for being a God who heals all of our diseases. Lord, we just thank you and we praise you tonight for the many benefits that we have received from you. Now, God, we come on behalf of this brother who have come down tonight, seeking prayer, asking for prayer. Oh, God, we don't know what's going on in his life tonight, but God, you know. And we know that you know because you are an all-knowing God. And so, God, we're not asking you to show up because you're everywhere at the same time. We're just asking right now that in the name of Jesus that you would manifest your power, that you would manifest your presence, that you would manifest your peace in this man's life tonight. Whatever he stands in need of, God, we pray that if it be according to your will, Lord, we pray that you would grant it on tonight. Lord, we thank you tonight. We praise you tonight. We glorify you and we magnify you because we know it's going to be done. It's in Jesus' name now. We pray, we love you, we thank you, and we praise you from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. Your name is worthy to be praised. It's in Jesus' name tonight we pray. Amen. And thank God. Amen. Amen. Listen, come on, let's thank Dr. Reed for that message. Amen. And I mean, I mean, he worked all five verses. Amen. Amen. Uh, as my mom lay in the hospital right now, I can't help but say, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And so, thank you, Dr. Reed. Listen, we're rushing to the benediction, but let's receive our uh, acting vice chairperson, Sister Dorothy Reyes. Let me say also, tomorrow night, uh, we will have progressive night, and uh, we'll be at the Northeast Campus, 1232 Northeast 7th at 7 p.m., amen, and Dr. Larry Foster will be our preacher on tomorrow. Let's receive Sister Ray. Praise God, y'all. That was some good stuff. God is so good. He has met us every night during this anniversary. I just want to give honor to God, to my pastor, Dr. Tyson, to Reverend Janelle Tyson, first daughter, uh, Reverend Reed, all the ministers on the pulpit, the choirs that sung, to just everybody here, I just want to give glory and honor to God for this opportunity to give him praise for what he's doing in my pastor. Amen. And that we can share in that together and what God is doing. Uh, that sermon, Reverend Reed, don't seem like you lost a thing. I've been knowing you for 30 years, knowing about you. You ain't lost a thing. You shouted this today like you was 40 years old. Amen, somebody? Amen. <laughs> 
And that message is truly powerful. You know, let's just praise the Lord. And, and Trish, you know this. We was a little girl, seven, eight years old. This is one of the first songs we learned, that Psalms 103, that we're just going to praise the Lord. And we used to sing this with our mother, who, who came from Christ's Holy Sanctified Church. And it means a real lot to us. And I just thank God for you coming in to minister. And haven't we had a time, amen? And we're giving God some praise, and we're going to continue on giving him praise tomorrow night on 7th Street. God bless everyone. Let's go home. Let the church God has spoken. Let the church. how we thank you now for this worship experience on tonight. We thank you for how you've moved in this place. We thank you for what we've heard, what we've seen, and what we've felt. Lord, help us to always be mindful of praising you for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy toward us. Now we pray that the love of God, the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit will rest, rule, and abide with us all henceforth now and forever. Let us all say Amen. Amen. God bless you.